Today I'm going to be reviewing a few indicators that I like to use together in the system. It's basically just one oscillator, one trend indicator, and one reversal indicator. And this system is all about the stochastics. The superior stochastic indicator it's Ninza's upgraded version of an industry standard indicator. You know, the RSI, Stochastic, MACD, all those basic indicators, Bollinger Bands, things that a lot of people use every day. They have really great upgraded versions that allow you to print overbought and oversold regions on your chart with these background colors and give you signals, as well as a gradient in the oscillator. So there's a lot of different ways to customize it versus what's just built in with NinjaTrader. It definitely comes in handy when you're looking at a bunch of different charts and you just want to see these signals pop up. It definitely helps out. For this system, I've got the Superior Stochastic loaded. I'll give you some special settings that I like to use, although I definitely encourage you to play around and find some settings that you might like even better. But basically, I'll put a 5 for the K period a 5 for the smoothing, and a 5 for the D period. And then I'm going to raise the traditional overbought and oversold levels to 85 and then down to 15. Usually they're at 80 and 20. That's just going to make it so it's only displaying extra strong signals. Everything else I've left the same. I've got the background enabled so it prints this oversold region or an overbought region when it's when the oscillator is up in the red or down in the blue. And then I've also got an easy trend indicator loaded to give us just a basic direction of price. I've only got the bar color enabled for the easy trend, so the only thing that the easy trend indicator is printing is the bar color. And then I've also got the divergence engine indicator loaded. And I've used the same settings that I've used with this superior stochastic, uh, the 555 settings. So here I have an ES3 minute chart loaded. This is from today's price action, September 19th, Monday. So here at 7.30 during the pre-market, we've got our stochastic in the oversold region. Uh, it's showing us that it could possibly be headed up from here. Our easy trend candles are still red, so we're definitely not interested at that point. And then we get a stochastic divergence indicator right here, this blue star. So now we're a little bit more curious, and then once it starts printing these green easy trend candles, you know, we could definitely get in at that point. And the market rallied 10 points in the ES, which is a very nice move. And then you see we get the stochastic in the overbought region. And this is a point where we would be looking to possibly exit out of any long trades that we are in. Our, our easy trend candles are still green. Once they start printing red, it would be possible to get in for a nice little scalp short. There's another six points or so. Now we're coming up to the market open. We're getting into this overbought region again. Our easy turn candles are red, so we're waiting for more confirmation. We get a stochastic crossover symbol here. So the market's open now, and then we get our first green candle. That would be a great place to get in. Another 10-point move in the ES to the upside. And now we're getting a stochastic overbought signal printed in the background here. So we might be looking to exit at that point and possibly even take a trade short. Our easy trend candles are green, so if we did take a short, we'd want to just go for a scalp at first. And there was a 10 point move right there. The price continues up. Our easy trend candles would be keeping us looking for long trades. And now we're getting some stochastic divergence here. Candles are still green. There's really not any confirmation that would make us want to enter in a short trade yet. But once we get up here, we're entering into overbought territory. We get a stochastic crossover to the downside here. The candles are still green. But if we're patient, our easy trend candles turn red. And we could get in around 38.94. And there's a 20 point move down in the ES. And now we're entering into this oversold region. We get this blue background. We'd probably be looking to exit. 
So now we've got our eyes open for a potential long at some point. Our easy trend candles are still red. But here, once they turn green, that would be a good place to get in. 38.80. Then we get more confirmation with some stochastic divergence from the divergence engine indicator. And prices rallied over 13 points. So this is a pretty basic system just completely centered around the stochastic indicator, but you can see how much easier it is when we've got these extra helpful Ninza indicators printing background colors and markers and candle colors. Makes it a lot easier to trade. Here's another chart from last week on the ES, still the three minute. We're at pre-market around 7.30. We're in the overbought region here. Once the easy trend candles turn bearish, there's a nice 10 point move down. Here we're coming into the New York Open. We're starting to get into the oversold region. We're getting these blue backgrounds printed, but our easy trend is still printing red candles, so we're not looking to get in just quite yet. Here we get a stochastic crossover signal, and the market is open. Once we do get a green easy trend candle, that would be a great place to get in. market went up over 20 points. And now we're seeing some divergence, so that would be a good place to exit. So you can see how these various factors are helping us with entries and exits. And since we had this divergence, once this easy trend turns red, you know, we could possibly take a short there. Another 20 point drop. Now we're back into the overbought area. Easy trend candles are still red. So we'd be waiting until they turn green. You know, this trade might not have gone so well. Uh, might have had our stops below these lows here, gotten stopped out. Over here, what I'm noticing is some divergence. Price is getting lower, but our stochastic is still higher. So once the easy trend turned green, we had this overbought condition back here, and now we've got some divergence in the stochastic. I would be looking to get in there. And the market rally is about 30 points. If you're not so much a scalper, this is what it looks like on a 60 minute chart. We're overbought here back around September 15th. And then we start getting our easy trend candles printing bearish. And there's a 100 point move on the ES. Got some divergences helping to confirm the trend continuation there. And here we might be looking to exit once we start getting this bullish divergence here. So this is just another way that I like to use these indicators together in a system. You really can't go wrong with the basics. You could be practicing using the built-in indicators in NinjaTrader, using the stochastics or the RSI or the MACD. And then if you're like me and you're a very visual person, I definitely think these indicators help out with being able to print the backgrounds and the bar colors and the markers. Definitely makes for a more easily traded system.